What's up guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today's gonna be kind of a nice video because we are gonna be hitting the New Year's Mega Crab, which it's not quite New Year's yet, but it's close enough, so I understand. But we're gonna be hitting it. We're already on stage eight, and I'm gonna be hitting it first off with Warriors, but as we get on to higher stages, like probably around 15 or so, Warriors will not be effective, but that's okay. Uh, actually, this one kind of seems bad because uh there's some shield generators and this is the first stage that has shield generators but i have a full boost going along with my resource reward i okay i think my warrior should be able to sustain through that so we're gonna let them poke through that and then once once they do get a second one down i will throw down my warriors we gotta we gotta get rid of some of those mines right there but it looks like they're starting to work on those two i think after they take those out we will be able to throw down our warriors i just don't want my warriors to be wasting their time on the core here but we gotta throw a flare oh man we're losing some to the boom mines that's okay uh this is completely no buildings that we're flaring to we're just using areas and then we are gonna throw it there we go all the shield generators are down perfect timing we're throwing out some shock bombs i don't know what to do but it looks like we'll be able to take it out here pretty quickly i think this was this is the first stage i've actually lost warriors to before this it was it was pretty smooth but it must be the shield generators and the lack of buildings i can flare to but that's okay because we're able to destroy stage eight and now we're going on to stage nine nothing surprising um, but as soon as I see one, that's, that's pretty difficult. I'll probably switch to like tank medic or some, I don't really know what I want to switch to, but it looks like this one only has one shield generator and it does not have super warrior. So that's, that's kind of sad. So we're just going to hopefully be able to take out, uh, the core and the shield generator on the, on the core. We're not going to, we're not going to target the building, even though that, that might work i don't know but i think we our firepower is high enough so we'll throw box critters clear out some of those mines and we should be good to flare onto it we'll do one more smoke and now we'll start spamming some critters down let's get more critters popped on that side make sure everything's going good what is this is this revive is that 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 might be remote defib there we go got that down and boom check out stage nine so the the health on the on the core isn't that high right now so I do not think I'll have to switch anytime soon over the next couple attacks. And we did only lose three warriors and our loot is starting to go up a bit. I was only getting like 10,000 iron and such. And now we're getting a lot more, but actually a lot less wood and stone. So I didn't realize that. I thought it was all just progressively going up, but ooh, we got, uh, we got the the uh, ice shield ability. I forgot what it's called. I never, I never remember the... The temporary ability names that's okay though because i i a lot of them are just like um the hero's abilities and i'll just call them by that name until i can identify the the true name so what we're gonna do get bullet down he's tanking some of the cannons and then we are just gonna flare onto that one i probably should have taken out that boom mine no big deal i definitely had the energy to be able to do it but we're gonna throw one more smoke we'll start throwing down our distractions and we're gonna throw this uh the the gbe ice shield and we're gonna, probably gonna throw another one even though we took that out very quickly no shield generators to worry about this time so that's pretty nice and we did lose a few warriors unfortunately the okay so i i maxed out my warriors but unfortunately i do not have uh three of my landing crafts upgraded to level 23 and i'm hoping to get that soon Definitely with Mega Crab because the loot is nice, but we're still getting under a hundred thousand and some resources, which is pretty inconvenient if I'm being honest. So it's kind of being a little bit. Uh, uh, I'm straddling both sides right now, where it's like the loot's nice, but at the same time, it's like I'd rather just attack player bases. But I know it'll pay off eventually. As soon as we get into the higher stages, a lot more reward and such. And actually, we got a portal, or we got the deployable turret there, so we're gonna throw that. It's kind of a box of critters. Let's see how tanky it is. Looks like it's doing a good job tanking uh, those cannon shots, and that's really nice. And looks like all of our warriors are safe on that flamethrower. A couple of them are getting hit by the flames and such, but no big deal. That'd be our last smoke. Let's get our shock bombs out now. I probably should have looked for shock launchers which there wasn't any so that's good we're gonna pop a ton and it looks like boom took it out a lot of our troops over here were very low 
So, I think True Mania is back too, so I don't really care how many troops I lose. I mean, it, it does make a gold difference, but when you have 90% of gold, you don't really... You don't really see your gold going down at all. See that? Seven warriors, less than 3,000 gold. Pretty nice. Now let's look. What's the temporary ability? Crystal critters this time. Stage 12. And, oh, our wood's still a little bit lower than 100,000. I was going to say, this is the first attack I hit where the base loot is under 100,000. but Or over 100,000 each, but I was lied to. And I just threw a ton of artillery under there. Looks like we just barely got it. That was the perfect amount. And now for this one, we're going to throw down a box of critters. Should be able to distract. And then we'll throw down our warriors. Hopefully get them to flag, but it looks like they're too quick. So we're just going to flare onto the flamethrower. Start throwing our smokes. And there is a delay, and that did mess me up a bit on one of the throws. So that's pretty sad. But now what I want to do is I'm going to throw a shock right here with a flare onto the core there we go we're gonna pop a taunt too oh a lot of our warriors are going down looks like a lot are low but we will be able to get through this look at look at it's like so deceiving when they're running up next to it you're like oh i don't have that many warriors left but as soon as they spread out you're like oh i more than had that so it's the tags are starting to get a bit closer we're losing 23 in, in attack we might have to switch over to like our tank medic strategy or maybe just all scorchers uh i, I guess i'll have to see but this one one shield generator no big deal let's take out this cryo bomb right here just to take out any possible mines and then right here we'll throw another cryo bomb and that should do a good job taking out most around the hq looks like we missed that whole line there even though the animation went over it it unfortunately did not reach so pretty sad but we're not going to let that affect us we're going to flare onto the the uh, critter thing what, what are those called i have no idea but we got to get our smokes out quicker the delay is a little f little longer than i thought because my gunboat is at the bottom there but you know that's something i should be used to and also i don't think mega crab is really really uh meant for warriors so that also that also does it and actually we're gonna throw a cryo bomb right there and it looks like we took out the shield generator just throw med kits i don't know that that attack went way better than expected now there wasn't really any damage by the hq but there was shock launchers so i thought it was gonna i thought because i didn't shock it on time it was just gonna take a while but we only lost seven warriors so that's pretty good and our loot is starting to get up there our stone is starting to creep ahead of the other stuff let's look around do we have any npcs we can take out quick i just want to add every loot possible but stage 14 got a hundred thousand at least a hundred thousand of each so that's pretty nice and now for this one we're going to take out this cryo bomb will that target those two boom mines we'll see here in a second looks like it took out one before the the shock wave of the cryo bomb even hit but that's okay you know just small details like that um don't really make a difference to the attack but there we go throw a barrage take out all those boom mines i know that would turn into a very very poor attack if i just didn't take those out so we're gonna throw down bullet we're gonna let him tank a lot of the flamethrower and then we're gonna do a flare onto that sniper ooh, ooh, i'm letting the flamethrower hit a bit there we go we got our smokes down so i think we're pretty safe now and let's do one more flare to a building just because if i were to flare onto the core from here uh it wouldn't end well and we're throwing our smokes early because I'm a little bit scared of that delay. Look at how far away the gunboat is. Like, oh my gosh. And I'm not really used to the huge delay because I do not do operation attacks. And I know a lot that I know that has a lot of delay. So maybe, you know, operation attacks that help with mega crap hits. You know. Not that I'm just figuring that out now, but it, it, it makes sense if you don't think about it. But anyway, here we go. Check out stage 14 warriors. Uh we actually lost a few more than I was expecting. I thought that was a pretty good run, and I got a lot, but 15 warriors, not too big of a deal, but also, you know, I, I, I thought I could be a better commander in that attack. Now, what's our temporary ability? Tiny Shack? Ooh, this one's interesting. Now, does he have rocket launcher and such? So he does have a shock launcher, so what I'm going to do is throw a barrage, and then I will throw an artillery. That'll take that out. And then right here, we'll throw onto the cryo bombs. That should free most of the critters. Definitely all of them, actually. 
um, because they'll they'll just it'll be like a chain reaction. But there we go. We just need them on the shield generators. Once they start gnawing those down a bit, looks like the landing spot is a little bit off where I was expecting. But we <laughs> look at how much energy we have. That was definitely worth it. So now we're gonna throw down bullet and then kind of let him walk up because this walk is gonna be very awkward. There we go. We're taking out shield generator after shield generator. Feels good, man. And then looks like we're safe on that cannon. There we go. Uh, what are they doing with those mines? Let's throw a box of critters right there. And I'm going to throw a preemptive med kit, too. So we're throwing that. Ooh, we're throwing the smoke. We need flare. Oh, boy. What's going on? I think I just mixed up my smokes and flares. Uh, name. Not the not the throw, though. You guys saw that. Look at how many med kits I was able to place. And we saved a lot of our warriors. That attack was very smooth. See, it seems like the attack before, things are going a little bit downhill with the warrior strategy. Maybe I should think about switching. But then I get into attack like that and I'm like, actually, this base was made for warriors. Or a good uh, a good attack on warriors. Now also, these these defenses aren't strong whatsoever. I, I, I think I should definitely point that out because they're not. And I want to make it as fair as possible. But there we go. We're going to throw a barrage. We might have to throw two barrages onto that HQ. That is so many mines. Here, over here will be the most beneficial. So we'll throw a box of critters. That's going to take out so many. It's going to be satisfying. Boom. That would have... If, uh, if mines could do damage to buildings, that would have, like, blew up the entire area, if I'm being honest. I, I'm confident in that. But we're going to kind of let them get some critters free just because we want a little bit of distraction and it looks like they unfortunately took out the cryo bomb so we're going to be slowed a while and we're going to reinforce two more smokes just because we want our warriors at full speed before we do advance them to the core and this cryo bomb are we going to need another one i think they'll be good so we're going to flare onto it are they going to be full speed looks like some of them are still a little bit slow Woo! this ain't good this isn't good. I think we're still gonna 100% win and we gotta... Oh no! Oh, that was a remote hack. That was stupid. I threw it thinking it was a, it was a deployable turret, but it looks like we'll be able to get it here. You guys saw all the warriors. That was very deceiving. I thought I was only gonna have five on that card, but Mega Crab, stage 16, down the hatch. Nothing too challenging yet, but I'll definitely take the loot and you just gotta power through these first stages. I guess what I could have done. Wow, we're getting a million gold in attack, and we got troop mania. Woo! That is that is awesome. And I actually like these trades a lot, but I gotta save up for that landing craft upgrade. So we're gonna go. We'll do one or two more mega crab attacks. This video is kind of lengthening up, and one of the reasons I did warriors because they're usually pretty quick, but mega crab just makes you take it slow, and that's the purpose of the whole event. Just take it easy. All right, so now what are we going to do? We're going to take out this cryo bomb, hopefully clear out most of those mines, if not all of them. Ooh, yeah, that, that was satisfying. Now, I think we should be able to just come right at this base again. So we're actually, hold on. We're going to let Bullet kind of do his thing for a couple seconds. We're going to get rid of those boom mines. This, oh, no. This isn't going well, fellas. This isn't going well. I I just wasted all my energy on critters. And not all of it, but a lot of it. And we're down to 33. I don't know if I'm going to be able... I'm not going to be able... Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to invest 5 energy into those explosive drones. Just to try and distract that shock launcher. Because I want to save on smoke. There we go. Woo! We're getting close, fellas. Oh, there we go. We're out of energy. Best of luck to you, warriors. I don't think we're going to get it, though. Oh my gosh, that was an absolute yard sale. Wow. Bullet's still alive, though. Does he have it? No, he definitely doesn't. So what What should I do here? Should I just go back, load him up with Scorchers? Try and do that? I don't really know. Bullet dies. I was just going to let him die. Alright. Poor Bullet. All right, for this one, here we go. Well, let's just go load up Scorchers. And I removed my Scorcher preset. What am I doing? Oh, I guess I'm loading Warriors. So I'm going to just try, or I'm just going to do, finish this stage off with Scorcher. That's why, that's why, um, Warriors aren't a great idea when it comes to Mega Crab. 
and I knew that, but I still wanted to do it. So that that was interesting. But we're gonna hit it with Scorcher now, and we're gonna grab Ever Spark. What should we grab? Um, let's grab Critter Spawn. Might as well. I think that'll be a good one. So we're gonna go. We're gonna hit 17. I I should be able to take it out. The only thing I'm worried about is my Scorchers aren't gonna do too much damage. We're down to 26 energy. And we also have to go through a couple shock launchers, so I think I'm gonna invest in a couple shock bombs. And then over here we're gonna we're gonna try and invest in taking out that shock launcher. Cause I think if yeah, if I get two artillery that will hundred percent take it out. Maybe only one will? Ooh, that was close. And now let's try and take out that mortar too. So got that, and I probably should have sped that up because I think it got an extra shock off that I didn't want it. We're going to take out that cryo bomb. We don't want our Scorchers getting slowed more than they already are. Because their damage is not up there. But boy, do they... When they get slowed, they there is nothing they can do. They just... They're, they're tanks. I guess they tank and that's the purpose. But I don't know. Let's throw a couple of explosive drones out. I kind of want to see what they do. Are, are they going to do anything useful? Uh, I don't really know what else. And... If anything, they're kind of just a distraction uh, on my Scorchers, so that's pretty nice. Man, okay, throw box critters. Looks like we're working on the shield generators. Was there three? There's three shield generators. That was silly of me to try and smoky warrior, warrior it. Or, uh, yeah, all warriors with smoke. Smoky warriors. I just couldn't say it. And now, we have a decent amount of energy, but we're just going to let them roam, because we're doing a pretty good job here. Let's throw explosive drones up. We'll just do that, and then it'll go up to the, it'll go up to the core there and just explode. Wait, will it take out my critters? I don't want that. If they're gonna take out my critters, that's not good. They, do they even do damage to it? I know it's a shield generator, so it's kind of hard to see damage. But let's let's take out that shield generator right there. Boom, took it out. Now we just got the core, and I threw a barrage onto it. So there's a lot of our critters gone when I was trying to switch to artillery. So there we go. Should finish it off. Boom. Artillery right in time. And we took out 17. Revenge, man. Even though you got me. You got me down in attack. But that's pretty That's pretty sad. Uh, I'm, I'm ashamed. But let's go back. Let's upgrade some troops. What do I want to upgrade? Definitely. Try, let's just do Scorchers. Since I'm using them. 500,000 gold. That'll be enough for attacks. Since we do have uh, uh, the 90% off. So that's really nice, but I think that's going to be it for me today. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know what your Mega Crab strategy is, because I think a lot of people just use, like, uh, tanks um, for a while, and then they switch to, like, Smoky Heavy Zuka, which makes sense. But a lot of people just go out in full boost, but stage 18... Uh, I, I, I need to get more attacks. I just need the loot and I need to clear my map. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you guys did drop a like. But we'll see you in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye. <laughs>